So for the people who haven't seen the previous interviews or even seen the previous advertisements I promote about it, what is the All of Us Research Program to you? The All of Us Research Program is a um, program that is sponsored by and actually run by the National Institutes of Health. And it's intended to provide the, um, the data and the information that will permit what often is referred to as precision or personalized medicine um, to be deployed across all individuals um, in the United States in coming years, even arguably in coming generations. Um, you know, we're at a point now where the tools are, are available to be able to identify individuals who are at risk of disease or if they develop disease to find better ways to treat them um, on an individualized basis. But doing that requires um, a lot of information about um, the various risk factors for disease, the markers that tell you who's at risk, and then identifying underlying causes. And the All of Us Research Program is an effort to enroll at least a million people across the country, reflecting the diversity of the country so that all individuals can benefit from these medical advances. So how is this role different? I mean, how is this program different from previous research programs you've done in the past? Well, you know, this is a, a program that is, you know, huge in, in scale, far greater in size uh, than any previous program of its kind, actually anywhere in the world. Um, the idea of enrolling a million people, um, obtaining both medical and um, biological information, including genetic information, mm -hmm. is unprecedented. Um, so, you know, this is sort of astronomical in scale, whereas previous studies have been much more, you might say, down to earth in terms of um, looking at very specific individual things um, with usually, you know, hundreds to thousands, maybe to tens of thousands of people, but uh, nothing on this scale. And it takes this kind of scale to dissect out the um, relatively sometimes subtle clues that tell you about um, why some people develop a, an illness and other people don't. So, you know, I want to go back to that for, for a moment. So, like going back, so this is different. You know, I know the viewer may probably watching and say, okay, I go in, I get regular lab work, which, you know, draw blood, maybe urine tests. What is about the All of Us program that goes deeper than that? You know, well, you know, when, when a person gets a blood or a urine test, today in their, um, their health provider's office, they're looking for a handful of things that are pretty well understood. I guess a good example would be evidence of diabetes. Is your blood sugar too high? Are you spilling um, sugar into your urine? Those kinds of things that tell you here and now that you might be experiencing either early signs of diabetes or maybe even advanced signs. Um, but the, the really, important question isn't, um, can I make a diagnosis of diabetes today? It's, can I figure out in advance that here's a person who is at risk of diabetes, hasn't yet developed the condition, but we know that they're on the road towards doing so. And can we do something that would prevent that outcome? Because it would be far better to treat a condition like diabetes early. And not only that, but also to customize the treatment to the particular way that person reacts to medications and to optimize the exactly right medicine for that individual, hopefully so that they never do develop diabetes. So um, we're really looking towards a um, combination of um, better tools at identifying people at risk and better treatments so that we can effectively treat them and minimize side effects. Okay, I think I... restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.